Hey guys, it's Clara from Online Fabric Store. You can use just about any fabric when making a shower curtain, but since the bathroom is a damp place, outdoor fabric is a particularly good choice because it's mold and mildew resistant. So let's get started. The materials you'll need are five yards of fabric or two and a half yards of two coordinating fabrics, a ruler, a hammer if you're using grommets, scissors, a fabric marker, thread, grommets or eyelets which are optional, pins, and an iron. A standard shower curtain is 72 by 72 inches. Most fabric is narrower than that, so you'll probably have to seam two or more pieces together. I'm using a coordinating stripe to go on the sides of my main fabric. Cut the fabric to be 12 inches longer than the height of your shower curtain. For a standard curtain, that's 84 inches. Mine's a little shorter, so I'm cutting it to 81 inches. Cut all the pieces to this length. If you're matching up a pattern, line it up before cutting. If you're seaming pieces together, you can either do two equal pieces or a center panel with two side panels, which is what I'm doing. Take the width of your fabric and subtract it from the finished width of the curtain. For me, that's 72 minus 54, which is 18. Divide by two to get the width of the side panels. Then add an inch for the hem and half an inch for the seam allowance. That's a total of 10 and a half inches per panel. I want the three stripes to be showing on this fabric, so I'm cutting an inch for the side hem on one edge and half an inch for the seam allowance on the other edge. I'm sewing the sides of the shower curtain first, just because it's easier to work with less fabric. This outdoor fabric is polyester, so I'm using the polyester setting. Fold the fabric in half an inch and iron. Fold in another half an inch and press. Sew an eighth of an inch or less from the inner fold all the way down the side. Repeat for the other side panel. With right sides facing, line up the edges of the center panel and one of the side panels and pin. Sew with a half inch seam allowance. I'm using a slightly larger seam allowance to make sure the selvage and the edge of the stripe don't show. Repeat for the other side panel. If you're matching a pattern, you'll want to do this differently. We have other videos to show how to do this. We like to use a fusible bonding tape, but you can substitute it with a double-sided tape, especially when working with a fabric that shouldn't be ironed on high, like polyester. You can finish the edges of the seam in several different ways so it doesn't fray. Using a serger or zigzag stitch on the edges works, but I'm going to use the flat felled seam here. It looks nicer if you're going to be seeing it through a clear shower liner. Trim one of the edges down to an eighth of an inch. Fold the other edge under and sew on the fold so both edges are encased. Repeat for the other side panel. I'm using a 4 inch double folded hem to add a little extra weight to the bottom so it hangs nicely. Fold the bottom up 4 inches and iron. Fold it up another 4 inches and iron again. Fold under the corners and pin. Sew up the side and along the inner fold all the way across, then back down the other side. Make a 2 inch double folded hem on the top the same way as the 4 inch bottom hem. You can either use grommets or make buttonholes to hang your shower curtain. Either way, first mark the placement of the holes. 
Space out 12 holes evenly, about 6 inches apart. Start a couple inches in from the side and 1 inch from the top. Center the grommet on the mark and trace around the inside of the barrel. Cut a hole for each grommet. Insert the grommet barrel from the right side of the fabric. Place the anvil on a very hard surface like concrete. I'm using a piece of quartz. Position the grommet on the anvil. Place the washer over the barrel with the teeth side down. Position the stud end of the setter into the barrel and hammer. Repeat for all the other holes. Making buttonholes is another option. This is especially easy if you have an automatic buttonhole feature on your machine. The shower curtain is ready to hang. If you can't find a shower curtain that you like, or if you have a non-standard size, why not make your own? Thanks for watching this OFS project.